welcome back to GP's Odds and Ends. Jessica here. So I have my Clever Fox binder. I'm going to get into my budget breakdown for my December. This will be my December 23rd paycheck. So let me go ahead and zoom in here a little. All right, so for my next paycheck, I'm going to have an income of $14.91. I'm going to replenish my buffer at $100. I'm not going to put anything in for taxes this time. I'm going to just, I'll start up again at the beginning of the year. So this is just my last paycheck before the beginning of next year. So it's not going to be that much of a detriment to the amount. I've got quite a lot in that envelope currently, but that leaves us a total to stuff across my online wallet and long term of $13.91. For my online bills, uh, most of these are fixed. I need to have a certain amount in order to pay the bill. So we're going to do 92 for my storage, 45 for my cell phone, 182 for my credit card payments. I have those payments scheduled through my next paycheck, which would be, I believe, January 6th. I'm going to do 50 for my online shopping. I'm not going to do anything for gas. That's quite... I have quite enough in there to cover anything that comes up, but I'm going to add 10 to my Dunkin' Donuts envelope. So that's a total of 379 for these bills. I need to replenish for some of my subscriptions. So 43 for OnStar, 18 for Sirius, $8 for my Patreon subscription. So that's a total of 69. And then my HelloFresh dinner kits will be a total of 121 for the next couple of weeks. So we have an online total that'll be staying in the bank of $569. For my actual cash, I minus if I minus the five sixty nine from the thirteen ninety one, I have a balance of eight twenty two for actual cash that I can stuff. So for my wallet, I still have enough in my dining envelope, so I don't need to replenish that too much. So that's going to be replenished just with twenty. I'm going to add sixty to my grocery, twenty to my entertainment envelope. 50 to shopping and 40 to beauty. So my wallet will get stuffed with 190 total. For my long-term funds, my fixed expenses are typically my annual payment and my car insurance. The rest are variable. So 40 for annual payment, 35 for car insurance, five for my car maintenance, 10 and 10 for emergency and savings, and then five for both vacation and medical. So that will be a total of 110. So that leaves me with $522 left to stuff. I'm going to go over my debt information first. So I always do 100, so 50 per paycheck to my mom. I'm going to do 125 per paycheck for my car. I'm not going to do anything for school right now. I do have a little bit of money in there, but I can focus on other things right now or stuff it with money that I get when I finish challenges. I'm going to do an extra debt payment of 100. I believe I have about $130 in there right now and I want it to get up to 200, so that will put me over 200 for what I wanted as a goal this month for an extra debt payment. So my debt payment that will be a total of $275. So if I minus that from the 522 that leaves me with 247. I know that seems like quite a lot and it's like why don't you put that towards debt? However, I do have a lot of challenges that I kind of want to try to finish and things like that and with the money that's already in the challenge envelopes. I can then put that towards my debt as well. So I kind of feel like if I put a little bit more into some of my holiday, some of this is going to be holiday binder. I kind of have it listed as holiday and gifts, but it's going to be kind of my holiday binder and my savings challenges going forward. So when I finish the savings challenges, that money that I've accumulated would end up being a bit more that I can put towards debt. So my total cash 
that I'll take out of the bank will be the $822. So that cash stuffing will be coming probably on Friday. I know we have the holiday this weekend, so I completely understand that everybody's busy and everything, but I like to do the videos because it really keeps me on track and focused on saving money and paying off my debt. So I feel like sometimes doing these videos is a little bit more for me than it is for you. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. Also, I, I hope to at some point kind of not use the Clever Fox binder anymore. There's just kind of too many pages that I don't end up using. And I'm kind of really only using these expense tracker pages. So my thought is to print, to kind of create something that has all of these items that I want to keep track of and hole punch it and put it into my regular planner so I can just add this in. I did get a hole punch. So awful story with this. Not awful, just funny, I guess. I've been have I've been looking for the hole punch for such a long time on the Happy Planner website. Have not been able to find it. They keep going out of stock or they're not in stock. Anyways, I I haven't been able to purchase this directly from Happy Planner. I thought I had made a purchase through Happy Planner for a hole punch, and I could have sworn the listing said that it was for the classic size, because that's the size planner that I have. When I, when I got it shipped, when it was delivered, it was for the big size planner, and I was, like, super disappointed, <laughs> because I've been wanting one for, for quite a while now. So... I saw a Happy Planner buy sell trade group on Facebook and there was a lady that was looking for the big size hole punch. So I said I sent her a picture, said that I had one and that I just wanted to get my money back. It was on sale and that she would pay the shipping. She was fine with that. So I was like, "Okay, great. You know, I'll I'll send it to you." Prior to her saying that she wanted wanted it and setting up that shipment and everything. I took a shopping trip, sh shopping trip and went to Michael's. It has like all sorts of crafts and stuff. They were having a big sale on Happy Planner items. They had the small like one, um, I, I guess it's like it'll, it'll only do one hole punch at a time on a piece of paper. So it's just like a single hole punch and not the bigger, longer sized hole punch. And I was like, oh, well, you know, since I can't find anything else, if I need to, I'll, I'll get that for the time being. And I was looking through their sticker books and my mom was with, with me and she's like, oh, well, here's some more, uh, hole punches. And I pulled, I went to pull this out just to see what it was. Cause it was kind of underneath all sorts of other stuff. And it was the big long box. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, it's the classic size. I have to get it. I haven't been able to find it anywhere. It, they, all of their items, the week when I bought this were 50% off. So instead of, I think the big hole punch I got for about 30, I ended up getting this for about $16 and change. I was ecstatic, absolutely ecstatic. So I bring it home. In the meantime, the, the woman from Facebook says, you know, go ahead and ship it to me. Send me the invoice on PayPal. I get her address and everything. So I'm all excited, you know, takes over over a couple of days you know I have this sitting in my room I have the big sitting the big hole punch sitting in my room I'm setting everything up I'm gonna do a couple of shipments so I'm boxing different things up and everything wouldn't you know it that when I went to send her the big sized hole punch I sent her this one instead and it took me like two days to realize I sent the wrong one <laughs> I came into my room one night and I see the the big size hole punch box sitting in the corner of my room up against the wall and I start going oh my god oh my god oh my god and my mom's like what is wrong with you and I'm like I sent her the classic size hole punch I'm sp I was supposed to send her the big size hole punch I sent her the classic <laughs> 
I'm immediately on the phone trying to DM her on Facebook and sending her a message on the Facebook post saying, oh my God, please look at your messages. And in the private message, I'm like, oh my God, I sent the wrong one. I cannot believe I did that. I sent you the classic size because I just found it in the store. I still have the big one. Please, 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 if you'd be willing to send this one, the classic size, back to me, I'll send you the big sized one. Don't, uh, I'll pay for shipping. It was my mistake and all this. And she was so, so sweet about it and said, you know, no worries. I'll just put return to sender on the label, send it back to you, put it back in the post office, you know, send me, send me the right one. So I immediately packaged up and did the shipping label for the correct <laughs> whole bunch and sent to her and she she sent this one back to me and I am so very grateful to her for being so kind and sweet about it so if you are out there and by chance watching you are absolutely amazing and thank you thank you so much but that oh gosh I'm I'm so happy that I was able to get it back after that mistake that I that I made and I, it's just that holiday season you know it's like it makes your brain go crazy I guess so hopefully I want to start printing out I think a sheet that will kind of better suit what I need in order to kind of do my budget breakdown and everything and then just hole punch it and be able to put it into my planner as I kind of go through my weeks and just to kind of take a look at everything so I still have my setup here. I recently did my plan with me for this week so I've added a few things here and there and just made some notes here and there but nothing too crazy as far as what you saw in the video but I will be doing my setup for next week and I'll probably do my January month uh, calendar month as well soon so be on the lookout for for that maybe I'll I'll do that for Thursday and we'll we'll see we'll see <laughs> well thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe until next time bye for now